Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at one of the very first 2022 motorhomes on the market today, and it is one of the smallest. This is a 2022 Thor Chateau Model 22E. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the world's only channel giving you the true and biased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again today, I am super excited to be starting 2022 off with a 22E. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey Andrea! Hey everybody! How's it going? It's going good, you guys. Now I'm... you're gonna be a little tired today, aren't you? Yes, you guys. I literally just flew up from Florida not even an hour and a half, two hours ago. So I'm so excited to be here and see all the beautiful units that they have. Um, I'm also excited about this because I believe it has no slides. Yes, no slides. So it's gonna be nice, quick and easy. And we're gonna do two videos today so Andrea can get some rest and then we'll be continuing on a whole bunch of videos tomorrow. Thanks so much, Andrea, let's begin. Model is Thor Chateau 22E. The actual tip to tip length of this motorhome is 24 feet even. This is Thor Chateau. It is the sister product to the Thor Four Winds. Same exact thing. Right up there, we have a nice fiberglass front cap, and it says Chateau. This does sit on the E Series chassis. It is the E350, and because it's a 2022, it does have the new 7.3 liter V8. It is the Godzilla! 350 horsepower and 468 foot-pounds of torque. We have nice mirrors right here, real big. And then look at these tires, Andrea. They're the Hankooks, I love those. Dynapro. ALT 225-75. R16, and we do have some nice shiny rims right there. Coming on down the side here, we do have a nice power awning with LED lights. Now that is a big awning. Yes. Let's take a look at that when it's all the way out. Great size awning, look at that. Very big and nice. It goes the length of the whole motorhome, I like that. Right here, Andrea, we do have your propane tanks right there. And we will have all the specs about this motorhome, lengths, width, tank size, everything, bing right there so everybody can see who's watching on TV. I love the, the white color with the blue. Um, it pops. Yes, that blue is popping. Right over here, we do have power on the outside. And then here, we do have oh. very big and nice exterior storage. That is great storage for how little this is. It's huge, it's nice, and again, per square inch for how small it is, like Andrea said, it's amazing. Coming around the back, we do have a nice bumper for your stinky slinky. Right there, you do have a hitch, 8,000 pound hitch. This motorhome can't tow 8,000 pounds. You're good with 5,000 pounds. Any more than that, you're gonna wanna check to make sure that uh, you're not loading up too much in there. Um, also, there's a backup camera right there integrated in that rear light. Also, we have a one piece TPO roof. Andrea, let's go up there and take a look. Hold on now. Here we go now. Okay, up here on the roof, you can see this is a nice one-piece TPO roof. We have one air conditioning unit. Yes, it's a 30-amp motorhome. Right there is your WineGuard digital antenna. And then right there, you can see that it is prepped for solar. Okay, take your time. Here we go now. Hold on. Oh, my goodness. One more step. Great. And if you haven't already, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. What other RV salesman's gonna take his fat ass up on the roof, make his wife record videos while she's exhausted from flying all day? No, it's not from flying, it's from getting up at four to be at the airport by six, Matt. <laughs> well, what other RV salesman's gonna do that? Nobody. Yeah, nobody. Great. Oh my goodness. Right over here, we have our black tank flush and city water connection right there. Again, 30 amp motor home. Here's where you fill up your fuel, and then this is where you're gonna dump your black and gray tank right there. Really nice. Right. I like how they continued the yes. decals. Over the water heater, yep. Here's your Onan 4000 generator, it's vented through. And then Andrea, here's your potable water fill. Potable, potable. 
Well, Andrea, the outside of the motorhome looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. Are you going to skip here in Richmond? Yes, I am. All right. Andrea, can we go to Top Golf? Not tonight. Maybe. Okay. All right. So there's no slides in here. So what you see is what you get. Do my little spin. <laughs> All right. Look at this. Look. Very spacious. Oh, and Andrea. Yeah. While you're walking through, we want to give a huge shout out to our sponsor, My Waggle. And the corner bed. Yes. My Waggle, yay! Yes, they've decided to re-ump their offer and continue their partnership with Matt's RV Reviews. What My Waggle is, is a digital thermostat reader for your RV. So when you're in a motorhome, you plug it in. It and it sends you alerts if you lose power or when you set temperature, if it gets too hot or too cold in your RV. So the whole point is if you bring your pets camping with you, you're gonna want a my waggle, okay? Because again, if you're if you leave your pets in the camper while you go out on an excursion, it will send you a notification. Here's the best part via email and text message. So even if there's no Wi-Fi, it will still send you a text message alert. And Andre, that's the best way to keep your pets safe. Yes, gotta protect your fur babies, yep. everybody. We have a custom code down below. Just click the code and it will take you to my waggle and automatically apply our discount. Yes. Thank you so much, Andrea. Let's continue the video. We're gonna start up here, Andrea, in the cockpit area. Now this is the E-Series chassis. And if you notice, it has the same amount of space as the 450 chassis. Oh, the cargo carrying capacity we got to get. I'll get that. All right. So right here, the difference between the E3 and the E4 is the cargo carrying capacity. But right here is your modern steering wheel. 20, How many miles? 619. 2619. Very nice. Oh. Right here is where you can hook up your uh, mir dual mirroring with your cell phones, also your backup camera. Right there, there's Andrea's napping position for the day. Oh, it would be a nice napping position. Yeah. It's very comfortable, actually. Yeah. I will say, you might be tired, but you look fantastic today. Aww. I like that outfit. Is that I a new outfit? It, no, I think it's maybe because you haven't seen me in a week. Yep, yep, maybe yep. Maybe that's why. You, you, he left me last Wednesday. It's oh, everybody today. knows. Today everybody's is seen. Day. Everybody's seen Ray. Um, what is today? What? What's today, Tuesday? Yeah. Okay. Everybody's seen Ray, Bobby, and Becky, so they, yeah. they, they know we've been they away. Know. But very comfortable seat. It is. It's very comfortable. It's perfect. And we got a bunk over the cab here. Yes, we do. 800 pounds. Yes, ma'am. 800 on pounds. On this little one here. Yes, wow. I am. And then this is a thing that fills in like this. And then you have a ladder right there, yes. which is nice. Oh, I see cup holders back there. Yep, and a window. And a USB and a cubby. And then you got a opening for a fan with the TV there e that swings out. Exactly, I couldn't have said it better myself. The only thing is right there, you have a little netting if you do want to put a cell phone right there. Um, I can't swing it out, it's too tight. It's too tight yep. on there, okay. But and it you, does swing out, and, folks. And the privacy curtain, everybody. Yes. Which goes all the way across. Down the river. Yes, <laughs> awesome. And then right here, we do have a little bit of storage right there. Right. And then here's your dinette. No storage on this side, but we do have a drawer right there. No sofa, no slide out. This is the way it is. You got seatbelts there and seatbelts here. This dinette does drop down to make a bed. You got cup holders. Oh, Andrea, don't show that. I have to. You were going to spoil my secret. I, I, I did. I... You spoiled my secret. <laughs> Sorry. It's a wireless charger. That's cool. Oh, you got cabinetry here and here. Very nice cabinetry held up by struts. How do you like the valances? I like them. Um, oh, I tell you, Net I, neutral? Don't, I don't think they're bad. Okay, good, good. And as Andrea said, I think said, the cabinetry is a little strange, but what this is. Bam, cell phone charger. And look, my battery's only on 7%, so we gotta charge that up. Would you believe that, Izzy and MJ? My battery's almost dead. <laughs> well, Andrea, it's now time for the MSRP. MSRP, 
on this motorhome here is $96,968 MSRP. Sale price, Andre, do you see a sale price right there? No. Neither do I because this unit just arrived and it's a 2022. But Andrea, I can tell you the sale price. 96968 What you do is multiply it by 0 0.75. Sale price, we're going to have it about 25% off because it's a 2022 to about $72,900. But Andrea, we can get everybody in America a little bit of a better price than that. Tell everybody what to do. You can call, you can text, you can email, you can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962. That is my personal cell. Or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. Send me an email. Or the best thing to do is go to mattsrvreviews.com and click one of the three contact me tabs. If you're ready to buy this RV or any RV, click tab number one. That takes you to general RV and somebody from my team will get you the best price. If you have questions about this motorhome, not a problem. Click tab number two. That sends me and Will an email and we'll get back to you within 24 to 48 hours. Or if it's just a generalized fan question, click that third tab. And Andrea, it doesn't matter if somebody clicks tab three, two, or one, what's the one thing that every tab has in common? They'll get the best price in America. Burr, 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 burr. Andrea, are you ready for the kitchen? I am. Are you sure? Yes, I Here am. Here we go now. This reminds me of the outlaw countertop, doesn't it? Outlook. No. Or outlaw? Outlaw. We're in a Thor. Yes. The outlaw. Oh, okay. Yeah. Doesn't it look like it? I don't remember the outlaw countertop, but yes. Yes. Maybe because I've seen so many. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Very nice countertop so, extender. So here is a, you know, frosted look of a cabinet. Yes. Um, I do love the adjustable shelves. Whenever I see those, that just makes me really happy. Yes, ma'am got a window and it probably has blinds yep. okay yep yep very and nice we've got a sink nice little sink with an extension here not a lot of countertop but that's okay because we have this yes we've very got nice sponges and three drawers i don't know how i feel about the uh handles everybody let me know what you think okay and we got the cabinet up there we got a microwave. Very nice. We've got the Furion three burner cooktop with the glass cover. Ooh, and it lights up blue. Runs off propane, and then you have your oven. <laughs> That's pretty neat. And a drawer down here. And then you got your two way domestic refrigerator that runs off propane and shore power. Yes, ma'am. Which is a great size. Sure is. And wait, there's cabinets under here. Look. But wait, there's more. Oh, oh, wow. That's a $104 Hold trash on. can. Hold on. This is new. This is new. Guys, I don't remember this from last year. Nope, nope. That is So that new. is awesome. Very nice feature. And a great place for the trash can. Yes, definitely. You okay. want to show us the pantry right there? Or yep. the um, uh, wardrobe? Yes. Pantry, wardrobe, whatever you need to use it for. Oh, there's the ladder. There's your ladder. And then you got one drawer here. Very nice. And then whatever, that's probably the door That's stopper. probably the door stop. Yeah. Yep. And are we going to the bathroom? Yes, ma'am. All right. Here we go now. Oh, it's not charging my phone. All right. Look at this. Oh, you got to put it center. Here we go now. Just have towel holders right there. In the bathroom. Decent sized shower. So, so here's what I got to say. If you're comparing this shower to other Class C motorhomes, it is a small shower. Where if you're comparing the shower to Class B van motorhomes, then it's a great shower. You have this little uh, curtain here, you know, not the best. Um, and then here's your sink. So it's you the sink. got a fan up there. I'm not a fan of the uh, shower. Of the fan? You're not a fan of the fan? No. <laughs> got a medicine cabinet here. Very yes, ma'am. Very nice. And then you got a sink and another cabinet down here good storage nice. for this little bathroom it's now time for the toilet test at an angle uh -oh. nope. no nope. well can you close this door let's see how it is for you it's not even that side it's more this side darn just can't pass it it's okay watch your step and then over here in the bedroom area it is the corner bed okay uh, we do have, you know, 
I mean, two people would be kind of tight. Ooh, look at all those cabinets around there. Definitely doable. Very nice cabinetry all the way above. And you got one over there too. Yes, ma'am. I like the windows right here. Look. Yeah, no, I love both windows. It, this is a small space and it makes it feel big and open and I really do love that feature. And there is a privacy curtain here too. So yes. if you do have a guest. Very nice. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review, short and sweet. Now, before everybody leaves, it's now time we give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. Andrea, what do we do first? Three things we dislike about it. Okay, I'm gonna go first. Okay. I do not like the sink in the bathroom right there. I agree. Literally, it is two steps to the sink in the kitchen and it made it so that wasn't a prime pooping position. It just made it real tight and claustrophobic in the bathroom. I am not a fan of that whatsoever. I'm not a fan of the shower curtain. So, well, that's one. So number two is the shower curtain. Definitely not. Talk to me. Not a fan. It, it needs to be a Nautilus or something around the edges that keeps the, the shower curtain in so water doesn't get everywhere. Yes, yes, 100% agree. Okay, so that's two. And then do you have a third? Yeah. Uh, not that it's a big deal, but yep. I just don't know. It just looks a little off to me. Maybe it's the the color of the handles. It just it's giving it a weird kind of look. There is something different yeah. about the cabinetry Guys, that I don't know. Guys, let me know what you think about this. Yeah, I'm going to concur. I mean, it's probably just something that it's me maybe, but I just think it looks weird. Yep, yep, for sure. So, Well, Andrea, that was fast. That's three things we don't like about the motorhome. Now it's time for three things we love about this motorhome. You ready for me to go first? Sure. Uh, I love the new uh, charger for the cell phone right there. I know, that's Very awesome. nice feature, very innovative. I love how they're keeping up with technology and everything. Absolutely. So that's number one. Andre, do you have a number two? I do. Talk to me. I love that even though this kitchen is small, yep. they gave you extra counter space here. Yeah, that's so important. It is because they didn't have to. Yep. So I really like that a lot. I think they did a great job yes. there. And I have and another- the, uh, I want to combo that with the trash can. Oh yeah. Very nice new feature right yes. there. Uh, so that's two. And then number three, Andrea, I think I'm going to go outside. Oh, I know. Of course I know. Well, actually, you know what? I was going to say, I love the windows by the bed. So I'm going to combo it. Okay. First, I love the windows by the bed right there. But then I'm also going to combo it right over here. Oh, yes, the storage. Out All here of this is exterior awesome. storage is fantabulous. It is great and excellent, and I absolutely love what they did here. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Thank you, absolutely, everybody, so much for watching. And Andrea, thanks for making the flight up here uh, today, so early in the morning. If you guys have any questions about this motorhome, please. Call, text, send me an email. It is mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962. That's my personal cell number or the best thing to do is to go to mattsrvreviews.com and click one of the three contact me tabs. If you are in the market for a smaller Class C motorhome like this, in a few seconds, we're gonna put its competitors right there and there. Andrea, is there anything you wanna say? Yes. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. Thor does read the comments, you guys, so make sure you comment, okay? Uh -huh. Also, don't forget that we picked up my waggle again. Yes. Protect your fur babies when you go camping. Yes. Uh, just go down to the link in the description below. And we have a and custom URL a there. custom URL and a code to get some discounts. Big discounts yes. off. And other than that, I hope you guys are safe and well. Thank you absolutely, everybody, so much for watching. And Andrea, we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.